Alright, hello YouTube, this is the 52 inch Homestead Universal ceiling fan in antique brass installed in my kitchen. I uh, asked my mom the other day if I could install it in here, she said yes. It, uh, it was really nice with the cabinets, with the oak blades and the oak cabinets. Um, the only downside to having it in here, we don't have a hood underneath the stove so stuff gets kind of greasy like the cabinet above constantly washing that anyways enough about that let's demonstrate the fan um, light does work I don't know it's kind of hard to tell oh, no, what? let's see if that helps kind of hard to tell but the light kit does not match the rest of the fan quite as well. It, uh, it's actually pretty close though. It's more of like a brush brass and this is an antique brass, but I'm not gonna fret over that. Anyways, to demonstrate the fan. It is on low. It's um a lot bigger than, or not a lot bigger, but it's a little bigger than the um, fan that we had over here before. Ooh, it's on low and I already feel a breeze. Uh, yeah, I, I did uh, cut the down rod and re-threaded, or re-drilled some of the holes. Thank God I don't have to do any threading on this. Uh, replace this Hampton Bay Landmark. Um, for a Hampton Bay, it's actually not that bad. If you guys do come across one of these, I'd recommend getting it if it's cheap enough. Because they're for Hampton Bay, they're actually really good fans. Here's back over here. And um, last night we went to. Um, Goodwill and I uh, purchased a Hunter Summer Breeze, the uh, newer one. I think it's from 2002. Um, so excited. I, I got a new in box and then got kicked in the stomach when I found out I didn't have the switch housing, so I couldn't test it. I was a little upset there. It does make a slight hum on medium, it seems like. When you go to high, it stops. I mean, compared to every other fan in this house, this one definitely overrules all of the others. This one flies. Like, it's kind of right on, because I know... As much as I tried, one of the blades is still a little bit either off pitch or too high. I don't know how easy it is to tell. It's shaking stuff everywhere. That's good. But yeah, this is definitely by far the best fan in the house. Actually, what's kind of sad is that the landmark was probably the best fan in our house before I put this up. It's not saying much, but to the turn of the centuries that we got in the bedrooms and the crappy carriage house that we have in the front room, this is definitely the best fan. Um, probably gonna keep the landmark. It's kind of a childhood fan to me. Before we put the turn of the century up in there, that landmark was in there. Um, and actually what I'm considering doing with the Hunter is, um, I'm considering, uh, taking the Hampton Bay light kit, because it's one of those plug-in things with, like, the nine little prong things in, like, a little box, and probably, if I can, hook that up to the Hunter to operate it. Not positive, but I think if I take the light kit off, it might still run without the light kit. But if not, then I guess I'll have to really look for a uh, switch housing. 
Alright, well, I wasted me all that time. I'm just gonna sit here all quiet like, cause, um, it's gonna get a really long spin down time. It's got pretty good bearings. For some reason, it does hum a little bit on medium. Um, other than adding the light kit and the, uh, cutting the down rod, I haven't done too much. I actually, I did clean it. So I did pretty much everything but oil the bearings. Because I didn't feel it needed it. So for 25 bucks, this is actually a really good deal. The light kit was new in box from Goodwill or whatever. Uh, so, what was it like? Got the light kit for like a buck fifty because they were like half off. So I paid twenty six and a half dollars for this. Well, plus tax, so like twenty eight to thirty dollars. But I think it was well worth it. And then the Hunter Summer Breeze in my garage is uh, like I think I paid I think I paid sixteen dollars for it. Uh, Alaska was thirteen. And everything else is free from the trash. If I can, I might get out today and go to my old elementary school because I saw a dumpster over there and they might be remodeling. Never know, they could have thrown away some Emerson Strad, which I said would be kind of cool because I know there was one in the. There was a couple. There was a couple offices. There was like a back office, kind of like a little teacher's lounge type thing. Cause they had like refrigerator and stuff. And the there was like a front office, kind of like where you check in. And then there was like a office through like a little hallway, like off to the left. And that's um. That's where you go if you've been bad. <laughs> but, um, I mean it's been a long time. I haven't been there in quite a few years, so I don't even know if they're still there in the dumpster, because that'd be great if they were. Uh, yeah, I believe there are two white Emerson Strad jets. Pretty rare, you don't really see the white ones. Strad jets in general are pretty rare. Um, my hometown, there's not a whole heck of a lot of fans. Um, I know my Ace Hardware has some heat fans, and then Buffalo Wild Wings has like foreign viral fans, but other than that, that's about it. Yeah, like I said, this has a really long slowdown time. Still going? Alright, thanks for watching.